ChatGPT could already generate long-form research reports, analyze hundreds of sources, and break down complex topics in seconds. But there was one critical problem. You couldn't share any of it properly. No clean formatting, no clickable citations, no polished output. Now, that's changed. On May 12, 2025, OpenAI released the one feature professionals across industries kept asking for, PDF export for deep research complete with intact visuals, tables, and source links. It solves a major bottleneck in enterprise adoption, but the timing, the rollout, and the competitive pressure behind this update, that's where the real story begins. Why this missing feature frustrated business users? When ChatGPT's deep research feature rolled out, it offered something valuable the ability to analyze vast numbers of online sources and generate long-form, structured reports on complex topics. For professionals, this was a productivity unlock, but there was one catch. Once the AI gave you the output, it stayed locked inside the platform. There was no professional, frictionless way to share the research beyond manually copying and pasting into documents or emails, often destroying the original formatting, breaking citations, and removing the credibility of linked sources. For a tool aimed at streamlining workflows, this created a bottleneck. Enterprise workflows typically depend on formal documents, PDFs, slide decks, or Word files. Whether it's a due diligence report, a compliance summary, or a client briefing, professionals are expected to deliver clean, verifiable documentation. A pasted chat log wasn't going to cut it. This became a particularly pressing issue for regulated industries. In sectors like healthcare, legal, or financial services, Verifiability isn't optional. Firms must show where their information came from, often down to the source URL or publication timestamp. Without citations that link back to the original data, AI-generated research had limited value in professional settings. Deep research could provide the insight, but it couldn't package it in a usable format. That's what this PDF update now addresses. What OpenAI's new PDF export actually delivers According to OpenAI's official announcement on X, formerly Twitter, users can now generate well-formatted PDF documents directly from their deep research reports inside ChatGPT. Notably, this includes not just newly generated reports, but also those created in the past. With a single click, by selecting the Share icon and choosing Download as PDF, users receive a document that preserves the exact structure and layout of the original report. This includes properly rendered headings, clearly divided sections, bullet points, embedded tables and charts, and images placed in context. The most important element for enterprise users, however, is the inclusion of clickable citations. These links direct readers back to the original sources of the information, allowing for verification of any statistic, quote, or reference point. In high-stakes environments like legal, finance, or healthcare, this level of traceability is essential, not just for accuracy, but for compliance and risk mitigation. The feature is currently available to subscribers on the Plus, Team, and Pro plans. Enterprise and education tiers are expected to receive access soon, as confirmed in OpenAI's follow-up communication. This phased rollout mirrors OpenAI's broader strategy of testing business-focused features with smaller user groups before extending them to larger organizational deployments. Unlike many earlier updates that focused on expanding model capabilities, this one addresses workflow functionality directly. It reflects a growing emphasis on practical usability, suggesting OpenAI is increasingly building not just for researchers and developers, but also for professionals working in structured business environments. Why this small update is a big deal for enterprise. While this might sound like a routine feature release, the implications for enterprise users are larger than they seem. First, the update bridges a real-world gap. AI output versus business communication. Tools like ChatGPT are built on generative capabilities, but organizations run on documents. Whether internal briefings or client-facing reports, business communication still relies on traditional formats. This update allows users to move from generation to distribution without reformatting or rebuilding from scratch. Second, it solves for compliance. Citations in the exported PDFS retain clickable links, which allows audit trails in sensitive environments. For firms subject to regulatory oversight, this makes AI-generated research far more usable. In fact, in many cases, this kind of verifiability is required by law. 
Third, the feature increases adoption velocity. Many professionals who tried ChatGPT and liked the content still hesitated to use it in client workflows. The inability to export research directly into a presentation-ready format added unnecessary friction. Now teams can generate, validate, and distribute AI insights faster, which directly correlates with productivity. The timing of this release also reflects an important market trend. In 2025, generative AI adoption in enterprise is moving from experimentation to integration. A Gartner report released in quarter 1 2025 noted that over 45% of large organizations were piloting or scaling generative AI tools, but many cited workflow disruption as a barrier to full deployment. OpenAI's move appears to be in direct response to that. The PDF export is not about showcasing AI's intelligence, it's about removing friction between insight and execution. And if you're wondering why OpenAI made this move right now, and what's really driving this shift toward usability over novelty, that's exactly where we're going next. Because this isn't just a response to user feedback, it's a calculated decision shaped by competition, leadership changes, and the broader race to own the enterprise AI space. Let's get into it. What this tells us about OpenAI's new strategy. The PDF export update didn't happen in a vacuum. It's part of a broader shift inside OpenAI, one that's become more visible since the creation of its applications division, announced earlier this year. That team is now led by Fiji Simo, the former CEO of Instacart and a longtime product leader at Meta. Her hiring marks a clear pivot toward building practical, enterprise-grade software around OpenAI's core models. Simo's background isn't in research or engineering, it's in user experience, growth, and consumer-grade product development. That matters. This new division is responsible for packaging OpenAI's capabilities into features that solve real-world problems something this PDF export does directly. It reflects a growing understanding within OpenAI that adoption doesn't hinge solely on model performance anymore. It depends on how well those models integrate into workflows professionals already use. Even the rollout strategy supports this. OpenAI started by offering the feature to individual pro and team subscribers, users who often serve as internal advocates or testers in larger organizations. Enterprise access is planned but the staggered release allows OpenAI to refine usability and gather feedback before pushing to large deployments. Meanwhile, core development continues under CEO Sam Altman's direction, with OpenAI still investing heavily in model innovation. But the day-to-day -day usability of features like deep research and PDF export now falls under Simo's domain, signaling a more structured separation between raw AI development and applied product experiences. This internal shift is happening as OpenAI's competition is doubling down on usability as well, forcing faster iteration cycles and more direct responses to market needs. The competitive pressure that forced this update. OpenAI's rollout of PDF export also reflects a rapidly changing competitive landscape in the AI research assistant space. Back in February 2025, Perplexity AI launched its own deep research feature, with PDF export included from day one. That created immediate pressure for OpenAI to match functionality, especially as Perplexity positioned itself as a more research-oriented tool with a transparent citation model and faster delivery. Just weeks later, U.com introduced its Advanced Research and Insights ARI tool. In its launch materials, U.com claimed its agent could process three to ten times more sources than ChatGPT's deep research and deliver output three times faster. Whether those numbers hold across all use cases is still being debated, but the messaging was clear. Performance and speed matter, but shareability is key. Then on May 7, 2025, Anthropic announced that its Claude model now includes live web search, directly targeting one of Deep Research's main use cases, real-time synthesis of online information. Anthropic positioned this as a way to increase context reliability and source depth, something enterprise users consistently demand. These developments shifted the conversation in the AI space. It's no longer just about which tool has the smartest model, it's about which one fits best into existing business processes, with minimal disruption and maximum output usability. PDF export isn't a flashy AI innovation, but it's a feature that's quickly becoming table stakes in this niche. OpenAI's rollout shows they're aware of that, and they're no longer focused only on outperforming in model benchmarks. 
they're now optimizing for practical adoption, especially in high-value industries like consulting, finance, and legal, where AI research tools can drive revenue or mitigate risk. This also reinforces another emerging trend. In the enterprise AI race, user experience is becoming a bigger differentiator than model specs. Features like this decide who wins the AI race, while models like GPT-4, Turbo, Claude, and Gemini compete over architecture, multimodal reasoning, and context window size. Most enterprise users aren't focused on technical specs. They're not comparing token limits or model parameters. They're asking more practical questions. Can I trust the information this tool gives me? Are the sources credible and traceable? And can I easily share the results with my team, my clients, or my leadership. That's where integration features like PDF export become decisive. They go beyond functionality. They influence whether the tool gets adopted at scale. In the case of OpenAI's deep research, the PDF export directly addresses three key enterprise needs. First, trust. Clickable citations offer a clear path to source verification, which is critical in regulated or high-stakes environments. Second, efficiency. A one-click export eliminates the need for users to manually clean up or reformat reports. Third, distribution. The output is now in a format that can be shared across teams or departments with no extra steps. This last mile problem, taking AI-generated insights and making them usable in real-world workflows, is where many tools fall short. They deliver powerful results, but place the burden on users to verify, format, and share them. OpenAI's update signals a deeper shift. It's not just building for individual users or experimentation anymore. It's building for structured organizations where processes drive adoption. In that environment, even small details, like whether a citation link works inside a PDF, can determine whether a tool becomes central to operations or gets left behind. Zooming out, it's clear the enterprise AI race is no longer just about who has the smartest model. It's about who can deliver insights in a way that fits the way organizations already work, reliably, verifiably, and without disruption. And increasingly, those are the platforms gaining traction. So if you're tracking where enterprise AI is going next, don't just watch for new models. Watch for moves like this, because these small, quiet updates are where the big adoption shifts actually happen. If more features like this roll out, real-time editing, slide exports, integration with tools like Notion or Google Docs, it's going to reshape how AI research fits into every department, not just the ones building the tools. Let us know in the comments. What's your biggest friction point when using AI in your workflow? If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.